Hi guys, this is Eric. I'm the guy who's been creating these uh, movies on how to use an iPad as your main computing device. But today, I'm going to do something a little different and uh, talk about a, on a personal side note and just tell you that um, I actually switched from an iPhone to a Google Pixel phone. And I'll tell you why that's important. Um, because uh, if you know anything about me, if you know me personally, you'll know that I am uh, the most Apple fanboy you could ever think of. Um, I have been using a Mac since the 1980s. I designed uh, flyers using Quark Express on a little black and white Mac 2 SE. Uh, my first computer was a Mac 2S with a black and white laser printer. I am as Mac boy as you can get. Uh, all my computers have always been Macintosh computers and I love I've always loved them and still do I, I love my iPads I've always used nothing but uh, iPhones until now so it all happened back about last September when iOS 11 came out and it killed my iPhone 6 plus it made it so slow it was practically unusable and I was so annoyed at Apple for screwing up my my phone. So annoyed that I went to the Apple store. No, I'm sorry, I went to a Verizon store. So I went to a Verizon store and took a look around and seen what else, what other types of phones they had. And I've been reading about this Google Pixel phone and how it's um, created and made by Google, which uh, some of you may not know, the Google is the creators of the Android operating system. Um, the Google phone is a pure Android phone, meaning there's nothing else added to it, and all of the, all of the default apps are Google's apps. And I really uh, am a big fan of all the Google apps. I've always used them on my, on my Apple um, iPhone. Um, I use Gmail as my email application on my iPhone. Google Calendar was my application on my iPhone. I use Google Docs. I listen to Google Play Music. I almost, I use Google Maps uh, on my iPhone. So when I saw this, this phone here, um, and I noticed that all of the apps on here are the, are the apps that I already use. So when I switched over, all of my contacts, all of my calendar events, all of my documents and files were, were already there. So it's been an amazingly smooth transition. And in this short video, I just want to explain to you some some things I've learned about the Android operating system and, and why I really, really like this Google Pixel phone. So if you are um, an Android user, um, you could probably stop this video now because you already know everything there is to know about Android. And you're going to, to laugh about the, uh, the things that I find um, uh, to be really cool. Um, but actually, you might want to stick around because I might need your help. Uh, and answering some questions that I that I still do have about Android. You see, this is my very first Android phone. I've never used one before, so I don't know um, if some of these features that I'm about to tell you are features unique to the uh, Google Pixel phone or all Android phones. So so stick around, you Android guys, because I might need your help. Okay, so. Um, but some of the things that I really like about this Google Pixel phone is, like I said, first of all, all of the default apps default to the Google apps. And they're the apps I already used. Google Maps, uh, Gmail, Google Calendar. So switching over was, was so simple to do because I didn't lose any of my information being a, a, a Google fanboy on an iPhone. So I have some notes here on my iPhone. I still use my iPhone. Uh, it's a secondary screen. It's a nice big screen for watching movies. And um, I, I treat it like an, an iPod. Uh, so anyway, uh, some notes about what, some of the features I really like about the, the Google Pixel phone. And one of the things is it came with uh, USB-C with fast charging. And it's incredible how you can plug this thing in and in just a few minutes you have, um, you have a couple hours of, of battery life just from um, a few minutes of charging. It's really, really incredible. So USB-C is, is a really neat feature that I hope the future iPhones adapt soon. Um, 
The other thing is, um, oh, this was an older phone. I bought this um, uh, back in September, almost 10 months now. And uh, this, is, this is the original Google Pixel phone, and it still has a headphone jack. So when I was buying this, the Google Pixel 2 was just about to come out, and I purchased this with a huge, deep discount. I think I'm only paying like $14 a month for this phone, and it's still an amazingly super fast phone. I love it. And it was so inexpensive so inexpensive compared to the new Apple iPhones. So it was another great bonus to have the headphone jack that I could still plug in my headset to. So um, another great feature that I love is, um, now I can't explain this one. This, this is Android people, you gotta help me. This thing, um, I could talk to my phone. So let me back up. One of the coolest features about this phone is that it's got the Google Assistant built into the phone. So the Google Assistant is that thing that, that Google sells um, those home devices that you talk to. And you can just say, okay Google, and ask it to do anything you want. Well that's built into the phone. So it, it is so accurate and so incredible that you end up talking to your phone all the time to tell it to do anything you want. So I find that I use that feature all the time anything set timers set alarms set appointments it's incredible I love it but one of the cool things I, I just kind of discovered by accident is that I can just tell it to do something um, okay so here's something that I just have to demonstrate to show you uh, that just blows my mind so I can say okay Google play the flash on the family room TV I had to think about what room I'm in. And look what happens. I have a Chromecast device plugged into my TV and it immediately now get brings up the off flesh. All those pizzas when you order online. Okay, Google. Off sausage pizzas, Pause. pan pizzas, even barbecue banana pepper pizza. Okay, so pause the TV. So, so here's the thing that blows my mind. And that is, that's uh, the movie is The Flash and it plays on the CW. You notice it came up on the screen. However, if you look at my phone, I don't have the CW app installed on my phone. It's not here. I never put it on. Here are all my apps um, and it's not on here. So I can't explain how that happens. I have no idea. It just works. So somehow it pulls and it shows the app on the screen without me even need it me needing it to be installed and uh, as an iPhone guy that blows my mind I can't get over that that is so cool so another thing that um, similar to this is, is like podcasts uh, I listen to podcasts lots of podcasts and I can just tell it with, again without needing an app I can just say something like okay Google play the latest Dave Ramsey podcast And here it comes. It just starts working. It just works. It's incredible. So again, I don't have the app or any app open right now. It just works on the operating system. So it just works. It's, it's crazy. So stuff like that just blows my mind. I don't understand. So I, I really find this, this Android operating system to be fascinating um, because to me, I think it's easier than, than Apple's iOS. If you, It just does more things, and it really is super easy. And again, I'm not sure if these are features of the Google Pixel or if, if all Android phones are the same. And I know they're all not the same, but I mean Android in general, the operating system, not the manufacturer of the phone. So if you're an Apple guy, let me explain something about all that stuff, um, which is which could be confusing because it is to me a, a, an Apple guy um, you know we're so used to the iPhone the iPhone is made by Apple Apple makes all of the iPhones that are available the 10 the 8 the 7 you know they make all of them they're the sole manufacturer they also make the operating system the iOS okay so they make everything but on the Android world Android is made by Google 
but all these other companies, Samsung and I don't even know the other brand names, lots of other brand name uh, companies uh, create, um, sell cell phones and um, they put the Android operating system on it. This happens to be a phone that's made by Google, running the operating system by Google, so it's very similar to Apple. A phone made by Apple with an operating system made by Apple. So this is as close to an iPhone as you can get in the Android world. So um, and it, it, it runs what's called pure Android. So there's no fluff and nothing else installed on it. It's, it's, um, it's just the Android operating system the way Google intended it to be. Whereas if you were to buy a Samsung phone, Samsung throws on top of the Android operating system their own interface, their own look and skin, their own icon colors, their own apps. So you end up with another email program and the Gmail app and a different web browser and the default web browsing app. Um, which on this phone is Google Chrome because it's made by Google. So this is all pure Google stuff and that's why I really like this phone because everything is pure Google. So um, so to you Apple fanboys like me, hopefully that helps you understand what, um, what makes the Google Pixel a little bit different than just any, any Android phone in general. So, um, okay, so another feature that I really like the, about the, uh, the Google Pixel phone is that when it comes to typing and texting, um, I, can, I can swipe to type, and it's so accurate. So instead of, you know, with my fat thumbs trying to tap away here, um, I, could just, I could just swipe. I don't know if you can see this. I can say, um, I'm going pretty darn fast, not take, paying attention, but that's 100% accurate. Today is actually the 4th of July. So happy Independence Day. So I can swipe that out so fast and it just works. It just blows my mind. And I know there, there's an app, I think um, it's called Swipe or something like that. You can install those keyboards on, the, um, on, on your iPhone as well. But um, on, on this phone, it's just built in and it just works. It's super great. Okay, so I love that thing. Um, what else? Oh, the ability to customize the desktop. So here, the way it works is, you know, on an iPhone you have all your apps that just appear on, on your screen and you really have no control. Uh, on this phone, actually, let me just put this phone on the table so we can look at it a little bit closer. Um, you, you're allowed to customize and do things wherever you want. So, so on my home screen here, you notice I have my little icons that are along the bottom of my screen. On an iPhone, they all appear on the top of the screen. And those are just shortcuts, really, to the um, apps that I want to be to appear there. Uh, your apps really appear when you swipe up. Alphabetically, uh, the, uh, the Google Pixel uh, displays every app that's installed alphabetically on your phone. So there they all are on one scroll, okay? But... It does have the ability to create multiple screens just like the iPhone and you can put the icons, these little shortcuts of the apps on these screens as well. Okay, and put them anywhere you want. So that's the really nice thing is the custom, the ability to customize these things and really move them around. Um, I can literally move them anywhere. See, I just put it right there in the middle. You just drag and drop, put them anywhere you want. Okay, the other thing is something they call widgets and that I can add extra features to the desktop. So on this phone, I put this gigantic clock right on the top screen so I can see the time. And it's really great. And, I, and it's great to have that. And I have up here the uh, date and the time and the temperature up, up on the top. And I think that's built into the phone. And what's cool about this is I can just tap on the 90 and there is um, the weather. It just instantly brings up the weather app. Isn't that amazing? Just, just from a type, just from a tap. There's the date, if I tap on that, it instantly opens up the calendar. So it's so fast, I love it. If I tap on the clock, it instantly brings up uh, my alarm clocks. Which incidentally, a cool thing talking about alarms, you know, on the iPhone, when you set a timer, you can only set one timer at a time. And if you ask Siri to create another timer, it says, you already have a timer, do you want to replace it? Well, guess what? On, on this phone, you can add a timer and you can have multiple timers going on. 
I'm upside down. Did I actually do anything? I can't see. Oh, you hit the, that button there. So their timer's going. So I got that timer going, and then there's another timer going, and I got another timer going, and I got another timer going. So it's so cool to be able to have multiple timers. I like that. And I can access it just by tapping on the clock. And look how fast this phone is. I just love it. Okay? So that's a cool feature that just really blows my mind, the ability to customize the desktop and put things wherever I want and add all these extra features to the phone. I just think it's great. So, um, oh, so another cool thing I got to show you that blew my mind, and I learned this by accident, is when I was driving in my car and I opened up uh, Google Maps and I had um, the direction thing going, right? And I'm driving in my car, I had this thing mounted. Um, oh, I got walking directions. So I'm gonna hit start. So it's giving me some driving directions. And I needed to do something else when I was in my car, so I hit the home button, and the map minimizes and goes down on the bottom of the screen. It stays open. So now I can, I'm able to do something else, and there's a little map app, and, and it kind of follows you. So you can kind of multitask. It was really, that's really cool. I like that a lot. So that's a neat feature. Oops, I guess I have to stop the stop the apps for that to go away. Okay. So Google Maps. Pretty neat. Another one is uh, the ability to, to run two apps at the same time. Very similar to uh, the iPad, where you can run two apps going at the same time side by side with a split screen. Well, this Google Pixel phone, you can actually run two apps at the same time and it's really helpful. So, you know, I could bring up a, a web browser and I could click and hold down this button and tap on the app I want to bring. So now I have, <laughs> there's the maps, Google Maps, and the web browser going at the same time. Isn't that neat? So, you know, this was really helpful. One time I was on the telephone and um, and I'm on hold with some company, I can't remember what it was, and I had to look up my account number and I was able to um, do a dual screen and, and quickly look up my account number on my 1Password app and find my, find my account number without um, losing the uh, touch dial on the phone. So it was really helpful to be able to run two apps at the same time. And I know that's something that the iPhone can't do yet. I know if that feature came out, all the Apple fanboys like me would be going crazy. Wow, it's such a great feature. iPhones are awesome. Guess what? It's already here. It's already on the Android phones. And I know you Android guys are laughing right now at me and, and, and at this video probably, but that's okay. So another cool thing is, is I find that the apps automatically update. The apps auto-update by themselves. You never have to... Um, open the, the the app store it's called Google Play Store and and manually choose to update the apps they just install and you can just you know just notice that you know you actually get notification on the top the top of the screen um, when you pull down you get notification here's all your notification stuff and it'll just tell you and it actually is right there five apps were updated and it tells you what apps are updated if you tap on it it'll tell you what just got updated but um I, I find that um, on the iPhone, I have the setting turned on to auto update my apps. And I know there's a feature, right? And on the iPhone, you can ask it to do that and automatically update your apps. And mine is always turned on because I always want that feature. However, I, I always notice when I go to my app store on my iPhone, gotta wait for it to come up because it's slow, and I hit updates. Okay, I don't have any at the second. Actually, yeah, one of them. Okay, is there, right there? It says update all. Okay, so I have, I have, um, you know, I have updates that are just hanging, waiting for me, and, and they, they don't seem to update until I open up the app, and then I get the little number thing, and it tells me what new apps are there. I never get that on the Google Pixel phone. The apps just get updated quickly and easily, and you never even have to think about it, and that just impresses the heck out of me. Okay. So, what else is cool about this phone? Huh. Okay, so another really crazy, 
cool thing about this phone is that the Google Voice on this is about a hundred times better than Siri. I am sorry, Siri, um, but you really stink when it comes to dictation and, and being able to hear and interpret what I'm saying. This Google Voice is so much more accurate um, when I talk to it. When I do all kinds of dictation, it is 99.99% it is .99 accurate. And um, I don't find that same experience on my iPhone, especially when I upgraded to iOS 11. It is so bad, bad and laggy. Um, and I say one thing and it types completely, something completely different. It just drives me crazy. So um, the dictation on this is just phenomenal. Be able to talk to it when you're typing out a text message or an email, or just in general, tell, tell, talking to Siri and, um, not Siri, what is this thing? Google, I'm taking it remember, um, Google Assistant. It's just, it, she just listens to me better. Okay, so it's a neat thing. Another cool thing about this phone is that I can unlock it with using my, my Fitbit. And that happened by accident. I just happened to have one of these Fitbits. It's not made by Google. It doesn't even run Android, but I got this thing that popped up on my phone. It says, we notice you're using a Fitbit. Do you want to use that to unlock your phone? I said, sure, why not? So as long as I'm in range, and this thing is on me, it, it knows that it's, that it's me who has the phone. So I don't even have to unlock the phone. It's so crazy, it just works. So that's a, such a cool feature. Um, by the way, the fingerprint scanner, it has a fingerprint scanner and it's lightning fast. So if I do manually lock the phone to unlock it, it's a split second with my fingerprint. It is so fast. So I'm really happy with that. So anyway, that is uh, about it for this video. I think I've rambled um, quite long enough, but uh, you can tell by, I guess, my tone, my excitement, that I really am pleased. It's been about 10 months now using this phone and I don't regret it a single day. Uh, every day I, I find, and I still learn new things about this phone that the iPhones just can't do. And I have to say that I seriously think that the Android this newest, latest Android operating system um, is a superior operating system to Apple's iOS, especially since iOS 11. It just is, iOS 11 is such a disappointment uh, to me um, that it destroyed this phone. It made it so super slow um, that it's that barely usable. You know, it's my little sidekick now. But this is my go-to, my main phone. I'm really, really happy with it. So um, if you have any other questions, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to, to try to answer them in the comments below. And um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you might want to subscribe to this, to my channel. I post a lot of um, technology stuff about um, the iPad and, uh, and I have more coming soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.